Like, if I'm shaving my pubes, oh yeah, dude, I like to get in that shit with the razor. What's up guys, Happy Dad back once again reporting for duty and today we're here to do the 200 sub Q&A. We're also here to announce the giveaway winner which will be announced towards the end of the video. Before I start off guys, I just want to say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for 200 subs. It's crazy. I've been growing faster than I thought I would at the very beginning of this channel. So it's absolutely amazing how um, fast I'm growing and it's because of you guys. It's because of the Zaplings, you know, coming together and helping me out, supporting me, um, commenting on all my videos and everything. You guys are the true Zaplings. Thank you so much for doing so. Let's get into the Q&As now. X well she asked, would I rather have no arms or no legs? And that answer is pretty easy. I would rather have no legs because I could probably learn to walk on my hands. I could still do all the things that I love to do with my hands, like um, play with my dick, uh, you know, drink shit. Uh, I probably could do some of the stuff I do with my arms with my legs, but um, although I have monkey feet, meaning like I could pick up shit with my feet, I would so much rather have my hands. It would just be so much more easier. I could type, I could still edit and stuff. I would just have like a special chair. Definitely, definitely I would rather have arms. And UK Gaming asked me, what's that banner in the background? That banner is actually a Dallas Mavericks banner. Um, it's a basketball team here in the US. It's my favorite basketball team of all time. I'm a fan of any Dallas, Texas um, sports team whatsoever. Uh, meaning American football, real football, and FC Dallas. Uh, I like um, the Texas Rangers, the Dallas Cowboys, the Dallas Mavericks, the Dallas Stars. I probably, you know, have repeated a couple of them right now. But yeah, that's that's what that is in the background. It's just like flipped around. So you can see it for real, like if you were to look around the other side of it. Rax this Dragon asks us, where does the name Zapadab come from? That is a story for another time towards my 1000 sub uh, Q&A. Seriously, guys, it is such a funny story. Like every single person I tell it to, they like die laughing. Because it has a pretty, pretty fucked up funny story to it. I love the name um, Zapadat myself. But yeah, it's totally, totally comes from... Uh, it, it, it just, it's it's a funny story. Comfort Zone Gaming can, um, can vouch for me. He knows the story. I've told him. He's the only one of my subscribers that actually knows the story. So don't ask him. Don't ask him. Wait till my 1000 sub Q&A. It's pretty much gonna be the equivalent of my face reveal. Even though, you know, I'm already obviously doing a face reveal all the fucking time. Alright, Honest Boy 1 and Saber Plays, they both pretty much asked me the same question. Who inspired you to do YouTube or what's your inspiration for YouTube? And for me, it's, it's hard to pinpoint one single channel or one single person for inspiration. But I would definitely have to say Vanoss and his crew or in all the people that make videos of Vanoss That's definitely um, up there in you know the realm of inspiration You know I always go to their videos and they always inspire to me inspire me to make more inspire me to edit more Seriously guys, I know some of you don't know who Vanoss is and I don't know what you guys are doing Vanoss to me is the epitome of what I watch on YouTube like seriously Vanoss is one of my favorite channels out there um, out of out of his crew, my favorite is H. Joe Delirious. H. Joe Delirious is actually my favorite channel of all time. Period. He's got the greatest laugh ever, like of all time ever. Seriously, you guys got to listen to it. H. Joe Delirious. Don't forget the name. And I watch his videos, and all of his videos are freaking amazing. He does let's plays. He does you know group stuff like with GTA and G Mod. Obviously, that's what um, uh, H. Joe Delirious and then the whole crew they they do. So. Um, they inspire me a lot to do what I do. They, they pretty much inspire me to make the content I do on my channel. But um, biggest inspiration I think might have to be um, Jacksepticeye because he went from 2000 to like a million in less than a year. And granted, he did have help from PewDiePie. He got most of those subs. He got most of those subs by himself by putting in the work. I looked at Jap to Jacksepticeye for the, my biggest inspiration because every time I watch his videos, I can tell he's being genuine. I can tell he's himself. I can tell if I met him in person, I'd love to shake his hand, and I knew he and I know he wouldn't give a shit, you know, because he's just one of those people. Him and Markiplier both, you know, I like their, ch I respect both of their channels. To me, Jacksepticeye, I think tops the list of inspiration. But yeah, um, to answer the serious question on inspiration-wise. Vanoss, H. Delirious, you know, and all those um, channels that fall under, like, their whole thing. And then, uh, J 
Jacksepticeye and Markiplier. They're they're pretty much on another list, but um, they're just as inspiring, if not a slightly bit more, because they're more regular people to me. They're I, they're people I feel like I can relate to. Not that I can't relate to uh, Vanos and them. It's just I felt like if I met Jack in real life, me and him could go hang out and have a drink or something. Even though I'm not 21 yet. Shh. Agency 2008 asked me how many shoutouts have I had and I think if I remember right It's probably it's probably around five or six maybe seven. I don't know It's 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 hard in my head to count But I I, I want to try to list them out and I'm not saying just because I got these shoutouts I'm, I'm better than anybody else because I'm, it's all getting all these shoutouts is very humbling to me You know, I love getting these shoutouts It's it's a very humbling experience and I think every single person who's ever shouted me out or who's ever helped me out in any way shape or form so I'm going to list off, I think, in order of who shouted me out first to who shouted me out the last. So it started off with It's Your Boy Clutch, then it went to Framework, then it went to Tribe Knockout, um, and then after after Knockout did it, I think the Real Dilo Flow or John DiLorenzo, he, he did it, and then King Hellhound, obviously, he's the one that pretty much did it most recently in a big way so thank you to king hellhound he's the one that tipped me over the 200 sub mark and he's pretty much one of the main reasons why we're having this video right now so appreciate it bro uh john de lorenzo did it one more time i was in a video of his i did a collaboration of it or i did a collaboration with him on what youtube means to me and he uploaded it on both of his channels i'll try to remember to put the link down in the description below i'm, I'm really horrible with links and shit like that but i'll try my best to remember and then um hope does things she definitely gave me a shout out and i really do appreciate it uh she helped me out a lot thanks thanks so much for that hope um, but yeah, that's the amount of shoutouts I got and then agency 2008 also asked me if I could throw a football in the gaps uh, I really hope I don't I don't break shit, but I guess he wants me to do it. So we'll see all right, bro. This one's for you Ugh. Oh shit, how the f How the fuck does this even happen? How the fuck does the whole screen break when I, I- There's not even glass over there. There's not even glass over there and the whole fucking screen breaks. Jesus Christ. What is it with you assholes and trying to kill me, trying to break my shit? I- I bent over backwards to make this content for you and you treat me like this. Jesus Christ, guys. Come on now. Alright, Helding asked me my top three favorite songs right now. Now, I don't know if you mean my top three favorite songs as in the songs I'm listening to right now or the top three favorite songs and that the modern songs that I like the best. I'm going to assume you mean the top three favorite songs that I'm listening to right now. So, the top three songs I've been listening to a lot is going to be I'm Cool from Real Big Fish. If you have not heard of Real Big Fish, go check them out. You are got you guys are missing a lot if you've never heard of them. Um, Top of the World by OCD Mission Twist. That song really motivates me, really gets me in the mood of making these videos. So anything by Mission Twist, I think, is, is within the top three. But I really I really do like um, Top of the World, specifically by Mission Twist. And the number three would have to be Set Sail by The Movement. Um, two out of the three songs I just mentioned are reggae based. They're like ska. Uh, so real big fish is ska punk. They're like really in your face about the ska thing with a bunch of horns with a bunch of like different instruments in their music I like it a lot ska, ska and ska punk is my favorite music of all time and set sail by pacifier uh, It's like a more laid-back of a reggae kick, but I love reggae music It's like and like I said like my top two. It's like ska reggae ska reggae. It really just kind of like um tops itself in its way in its own ways and then top of the world is just like for motivation which leads into my next question from uncopyrightable he asked me what's my biggest motivation or what motivates me to make these videos and that would definitely have to be it is a, a whole bunch of music i listen to with no music i i wouldn't be able to do all this shit i wouldn't be able to like you know keep making this for you music is what keeps me sane because i like to consider this like a job on the side even though i'm not making any money off of it or anything like that it's like technically a hobby that i want to turn in my job what i want to turn in my career but music is what keeps my brain like active like it's what keeps everything together without music i i, w I would just be a zombie on my computer like ah. nah now, that's not me. I need music in my life in order to keep me motivated. So that's what keeps me motivated. And also, 
personal story. This, this, I'm about to get kind of personal with you. A long time ago, uh, like way, way, way before even my, my, my dad was born, I guess it's going to be obvious when you hear the context of the story. Um, my great grandfather, he came from Mexico back in, I want to say like 19... Uh, 30 ish like about 1930 to 35 ish he came here from Mexico right he and he came here the hard way you know like the right way going to like uh, New York and shit like to the uh, to the Statue of Liberty getting all this documentation and everything and he worked his ass off to get here and my grandpa even though he looks uh, straight up Latino he doesn't really like being called he likes being called American because of what his dad went through to be an American so that 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 motivates me in life for a, a lot of other things but I always look to him like my great-grandfather for motivation because if he could do that then I could do anything you know that, that's that's my mentality my dad um, at a young age got that stuck in my brain that if he could do that all those many years ago I could do anything so this this is pretty much all because of his because of his doing at least like an eighth or a fourth of it however far back great grandparents go but yeah definitely that's that's what motivates you that's on a personal level though see so you guys i don't really like getting too personal or anything like that but that that's that's what you guys are going to get for this video all right helding had another question that i ended up missing but i i'm, I'm gonna answer it right now uh razor or electric shaver definitely the electric shaver as far as my face goes you know as long as far as my face goes i like using the electric shaver uh the stubbly stuff all around i like to keep around a little bit and then i don't grow like a full out beard but you guys can definitely tell whenever i haven't shaved for a while like i don't like using the uh the the regular razor on my face because it looks makes me look like a baby face you know i i hate that like if i'm shaving my pubes Oh yeah, dude, I like to get in that shit with the razor. You know, making sure everything's so baby smooth so that the chick doesn't complain or anything like that. Hell no, you don't want stubbly on, on your wee-wee. That's, that's a no-go. That's no-go, okay guys? Chick's gonna complain, she's like, it hurts. Hell no, you guys wanna use a razor on that shit, get in there! Get in there! But no, electric shaver on my face. Cause I like to keep the stubbly. Psycho Existence PSN comes at me with a list of questions. I'm probably going to leave it down to two depending on what his third one is. I don't know what it is yet. But he asked me, favorite game ever, Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Easy. It's any one of the Spyro games. Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon and Ripto's Rage kind of, like I said, with Regan and Scott kind of tops one another every now and again. But Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon, I put so much of my time into. I love it so much. I really do. Um, I'm just going to give you like a list of like top five every games, like no order except for this one. Like Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon is up there. Ripto's Rage is up there for Spyro 2 or Enter Avalar, depending on what, world, um, what part of the world you're in. I like Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped uh, specifically. I don't really like, I, 2 is okay, 1 I haven't really played much, but Crash Bandicoot 2 um, doesn't quite make the list, but Crash Bandicoot 3 for sure does make the list. Gmod makes the list, um, absolutely. I love watching it and I love playing it. Gmod is amazing. I need to get more Gmod content out to you guys and collaborations are gonna happen soon so that we can get that out for you. But yeah, definitely uh, uh, Gmod's on that list. Let's see what, that's like four now. I'm just gonna bullshit around and probably say something like um, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger or Jack and Dexter. Again, for the number five spot, boom, 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 boom. Any given day, it could be any given game. So one of those two, because I played just as much as those games growing up, like from around seven to 11, as I did any other game. So um, either Ty the Tasmanian Tiger or Jack and Dexter, they top one another all the time. Psycho Existence PSN asked me what I do in my free time. I do my zap adapt thing on my free time and what my zap adapt thing is is just kicking back I got Verizon so I can get YouTube on my TV I swear to god I love YouTube on my TV it's amazing like uh I I basically just watch YouTube all around on my free time I love watching YouTube and when I'm not watching YouTube on my free time I have my own cam show on slut roulette I mean um you guys you guys didn't hear that I I'm I'm just going to end it there I really hope you guys didn't catch on to that. You also asked me who my favorite subscriber is. Not you. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All of you guys are my favorites. You know, I'm going to cop out and say all oh, you guys is my favorites. Because all you guys is my little zapplings out there. Gaming with Killer Wolf. That's a badass name. But he asked me, how did how did I start YouTube? How do I start YouTube? Um, I, I started it about, let's see, 2009. So about seven, six and a half years ago. Uh, I had a channel called Chartreuse 606. I did stupid shit. Like, my voice was so awful. 
the earliest back you can see my content is one channel that I I'm gonna choose not to disclose to you guys even though no videos are flagged or taken down or anything like that it's just I'm kind of embarrassed of those videos but it was me and my 13 year self um, doing a bunch of retro game stuff like a, with Atari with Sega Genesis with PlayStation 1 I did a bunch of console reviews that were really horrible like honestly they were like shit so at my 500 to 1000 sub milestone or something I might react to those old videos but there's one, there's only one video that still exists in me from 2009, and that's on a friend's channel that I did with her for some random bullshit. It's really bad, and I'm really ashamed of it. And when I watch it again, it's like, ah, oh, it's so cringeworthy. But yeah, um, I started YouTube back in 2009. Eric D asked me, what camera do I use? I use a Sony CX240. I think it's what it is. It's going to be the same um, camera that uh, King Hellhound's using. It is an amazing camera. I got it for a fucking amazing deal at my job at Target. It was on sale for 100 bucks less than what it normally is. So I got it for $129.99 on top of a discount. Dude, this camera is amazing. You guys, you guys compliment me every now and again on my camera. And it's like really humbling to know that you guys like my camera. Um, I recorded 60 frames per second. And this is the cheapest uh, 60 frames per second camera I could get my hands on. So if you guys need a 60 frames per second camera, if you guys want one, CX240 is what you need. Just look up C or Sony 240. I'm sure you can get it without knowing any of the other letters and numbers or anything. Just C uh, Sony 240. This camera is absolutely amazing. I I I give my whole 100% um, word on it. It's an amazing camera. Our hope does things. Ask me how many nightlights do I sleep with? I sleep with a couple. You know, I don't like the bookie man. I don't like the monster under my bed. I don't, I don't like any of that shit. So I sleep with about two to three. I got a SpongeBob one. I got a Frozen one, you know, a Frozen one that like lights up the whole um, ceiling so that I can see uh, Elsa um, on, on one of my dreams and stuff. It's so, it's so cute. It's so nice. She also asked, she also asked me turtles or not. Nah. And if I'm assuming that if you're asking this question, you are somewhat of a fan of the Ninja Turtles. And I'll be honest with you guys. My middle name is Raphael. So Raphael is my favorite Ninja Turtle, but yeah, like legit, no joke. My my middle name is Raphael, so it's badass. I, I it's I think it's the most badass middle name out there, but that's just me tooting my own horn. She also asked me, can I do a handstand? No, <laughs> I'm not even gonna try. I'm not even gonna try to hurt myself. I I could do some bullshit, you know, to try and do that, but nah, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to save myself for later. Uh, but no, I, I can't do a handstand. I wish, I wish, but no, I can't. Comfort Zone Gaming asked me worst and best work-related story. Um, best work-related story, huh? That's that's hard. I always I always think that the best work-related stories are those stories where I have conversations with my friends in the tampon aisle. Cause when I'm at Target, that's what I do. Like I make the tampons, pads, douches, condoms. I make all that shit look nice, okay? That's this guy that does that, all right? I'm just, that's just one aisle out of like a whole section I have to do. I have to do about like 38 or so aisles, but yeah, having conversations there and like making fun about it and just like kicking back with people in the break room and having a good laugh. Those are the best, best work-related work stories and I love them. Uh, I love all my friends there. Uh, I like a lot of the managers there. They're all, they're all pretty awesome. I love j the job I have. It's, it's really cool. Worst work related story I have is when um, this guy named Rin started working there pretty much everything started going downhill after that so yeah as soon as Rin got hired I just I, I contemplated suicide every single night so that, that's what that is. I'm totally fucking playing Rin is comfort zone gaming he's badass work related work story is last night. Uh, that this video is going up just this this whole past weekend just everything went wrong people puked people passed out or not passed out people fell we had to call the ambulance it, it was so disgusting like someone literally pissed on the floor saturday at target like what the fuck wh wh what the fuck happened this weekend at target i don't fucking know but yeah that's definitely the worst work related story i have is like pissing and puking and people falling over literally that all happened saturday and sunday I don't know what the fuck people are, are thinking at Mike's Target store, at the Target store I work at, which I'll never d disclose or anything like that. But dude, what the fuck? Seriously, just, 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 just what? The fuck?
Anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. Sorry if I didn't answer your questions. I just looked through real quick. Um, I'm sure there's some I didn't answer, but I hope I answered most of them. And you guys want to see the giveaway winner. So before I give my whole thanks and everything, let me go ahead and do it live while I'm on the video. I'm going to go to my videos because that's what you got to do when you're using TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is amazing, by the way. If you don't have it as a Chrome extension, I don't know what your problem is. Uh, let me see. 100 sub Q&A. Wow, that was posted the 5th of February, and it's the 22nd. Well, that means I've, I've gained about 144 subscribers in about 17 days. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'll thank you in a second, though. Pick a winner. And pick a winner. And... Reversed. Or reversed. Reversed. You have won a $20 game card. Make sure you leave a comment down in, this, in the comment section below saying that you won this. If you do not get back to me within, I'm going to say, two days, I will repick a winner on one of my other videos and I will you know re re pick a winner but I will comment um just comment on my video I will comment asking you what or I'll, I'll say I'll comment saying I PM'd you and then we can discuss things there any $20 game card bro it's yours I'll send you the code uh later hopefully you still watch my videos I don't know um but yeah definitely um come come to this and you know what you you just want a $20 game card my friend so thank you guys so so much for subscribing to the channel Thank you guys for coming around every single time. You guys are the greatest little zaplings of all time. Like seriously, you have no idea. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I, I really tried to mix it a little bit with funny and a little bit of serious. I obviously went a little bit, I wouldn't say too serious, but I went like really serious at a couple points and I thought, I don't know, maybe some things are funny. I don't know, I'm a fucking dunce. I don't, I don't do funny shit. <laughs> Anyways, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much. I cannot wait for 300 subs. I know we can do it uh, before the end of March. That's that's an honest goal. I, I told you guys what my real goal is. I told you, wait, no, I haven't. I haven't told you guys what my real goal is, have I? My real goal is the diamond play button. No shit. That's my goal. If you guys don't know what that is, look it up. It's like the silver play button. It's like the gold play button. Just on a whole nother level. That is legit my favorite or is that is legit my dream goal even if I, if even if I reach the age of 100 and I'm still working for it I will die working for it so until next time guys thank you so much for watching my outro video will explain everything what to do after the video is over I'm gonna go do my zappa dap thing I'm a What's up guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to go ahead and click that like button down below for me, please, because I'd really appreciate that. Also, if you want to express your opinions about the video, make sure to do so in the comments section below. For that, it's what it's there for. Also guys, make sure to follow me on all my social media, all the links will be down in the description below. Last but not least guys, if you want to go infinity and beyond the Call of Duty, make sure you also go ahead and click that red subscribe button for me, please, if you want to see all my content when it comes out on time. Again, thank you so much for watching, this has been Zappadap, I'm out. Peace.